This is the Fostex E16 that I'm selling, 16 track, half inch tape, uh, comes with a remote. I bought it uh, not long ago, uh, spring of 2010, for the sole purpose of uh, digitizing uh, a few reel-to-reels of 16 track that I have, uh, just so I have the each track, each individual track, um, digital and I can remix uh, at my leisure on my uh, digital workstation. So uh, I've done that, so I don't have any need of this machine any longer. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is, is just point out a couple of things that I know are wrong with it. One, um, the on the remote, the fast forward button isn't doing anything. I don't know if it's a problem with the remote control unit itself or the ribbon. Um, I just noticed it tonight because uh, I have this is the first time I've used the remote control unit. Uh, it does work, everything works on the unit itself. On uh, one of the LEDs on here, I forget which one, it's four or five. Maybe we'll see it when I, when I start to uh, play. But just one of the bars, um, not the whole bar, but just one of the lights on the bar, <coughs> somewhere midway, uh, uh, does not light. All the rest are fine. Uh, so let's uh, let's hit play. Maybe we'll see that bar when it comes out. So as I said, everything works on here. Uh, I didn't use any of the memory um, buttons that, that memorize your counter, but uh, I, I don't know how to use them. I had no need for them. So, But anyway, the, the locate to back to zero works really well. It's actually very smooth. It just, uh, just stops nicely. Um, and and the, the play works great from the remote. I'm not sure that bar is. Um, oh, and I mentioned the fast forward. You know, fast forward works on the machine, even though uh, the button doesn't do anything on the remote. So, uh, so that's about it. Um, that's all I've used it for. A bunch of reels uh, to play back and. Um, I did test the recording when I when I bought it off the guy, uh, just on a few random tracks. Um, uh, he assured me that everything, all the recording works fine. It, actually, it's really well maintained, um, not by me but by the previous owner. It's it's you know it hasn't been me. I haven't done anything with it except play a bunch of reels, so uh, it's neither been maintained nor abused by me. Okay, um, that's about it. And just one thing I'd like to add which uh, I found out as soon as I put my old tapes on this machine is nothing happened. And I did a bit of looking around on the internet <coughs> and uh, I found out something called Sticky sticky Shed, which is basically the, uh, the magnetic material coming off the, uh, the base of the tape, um, it just, just due to age uh, and humidity. And especially for tapes made in the 1980s uh, and 1990s, early 90s. Anyway, so I went on, uh, found some advice on the internet, uh, which was get a food dehydrator, put it in there for eight hours. And I, I just like to <coughs> show you what what I got, and it was like 60 or 70 bucks on Amazon, and that's wh that's what it is, and it all comes apart. These are all layers. <coughs> And uh, your tape just fits there perfectly, half inch tape. And I'll just show you. <coughs> so your tape just goes in there nicely. Put the next layer on, 
and put another tape on there for another layer. You put another tape. <coughs> um, one, two, three, four tapes. Some people uh, who use this method of, of what's called baking a tape uh, won't put any tapes near the top because they're afraid that the the electric motor, <coughs> which is in the lid, uh, may have uh, an adverse effect on the tape. Um, in other words, the uh, the magnetic field of the motor. So uh, I just I just use the bottom two to play it safe, and uh, <coughs> put two tapes in there and uh, plug it in eight hours. At and I found 130 degrees Fahrenheit to be absolutely perfect for eight hours. Um, so that's that. Sixty, I think it was sixty dollars, sixty and change, and shipping. And um, I haven't used it for food yet, but uh, I, I may well do that in the future. So uh, <coughs> that's all. Just thought I'd share that uh, <coughs> little bit of information with you, because uh, if you're buying this machine or any other machine, uh, reel to reel, for the same purpose that I did, then uh, that is to digitize your old tapes from your early days of recording, then um, this is something you need to know. And uh, you can, there are services that will do the baking for you, but um, uh, you, they're rather expensive, and this, this works just fine. <coughs>